We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Tries to pitch it, and now the ball is loose. Defense says they've got it, and they do. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. So the offense will come out in opponent's territory for their first drive of the game. They couldn't have asked for better field position than this. Caught end zone for the touchdown. be a big boost you always want to capitalize on these short yardage situations and that pass was an excellent call he makes the PAT Duke lines up for the kickoff he really got a hold of that kick this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Duke's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. Nice run there. Good option play. The fullback got about six yards there. That'll make it seven They're about four yards away here on second down. He's to the 40. Makes it out to about the 46. Now he took the pitch there and was able to get the first down. It's a nice option play. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 46. Down. Blue 14. Blue 14. Cut. 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 Knocked out of bounds around the 43 yard line. If he keeps doing this, he's going to wear this defense out all by himself. it up the middle for a nice run. The fullback showing some good skills there on the option. He got five. That brings him second and five. From the 38-yard line, second down. Cut! Blue 19! And now he pitches it. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Well, that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run, and they got the better of them that time. Hey, hey, here, here I come. Here I come. Here I come. Here I come. Down. Hey. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. The kick is up, and he splits the uprights. You know, I was wondering if he's going to get a chance to kick one of those. We saw him warming up from 60 yards before the game. So our score, Duke 7, Georgia Tech 3. Georgia Tech is ready to kick it away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I'm sure that touchdown and their last possessions given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. As you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. From their own 25-yard line, 
Second down. Duke is up by four. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. He's taken down at about the 35. That is a loss of one yard. That makes it second and 10. Just throws this one away. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35. And he hits him hard at the 28. That makes it fourth and long. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. He gets it away. This is a really nice punt. Gets out to about the 31. The Blue Devils really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. They'll knock him down for a loss. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Got some open field. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. He's pushed out of bounds at midfield. Way too casual of an effort by the defense to bring him down. When you try to tackle this guy, you better not stop till you hear the whistle. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 50-yard line. Makes it to the 37. Second and seven. Second and seven. Ball on the 34-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 37. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Well, that time the big fella got home and came up with a sack, but credit the call by the defensive coordinator there with the blitz. The offensive linemen were occupied with those linebackers, and it freed up the defensive linemen to make that sack. Fourth and long here after the sack. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. Oh, excellent punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Duke is up four. It's a bad play overall by the offense. 
The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That's a deal of turn. That'll bring up third and inches. Down. He's at the 40. Fires in a hurry. Interception. Tackle around the 35-yard line. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. First and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. He's at the 20, inside the 10. He's tackled around the three-yard line. We've played one quarter. The Blue Devils in front, 7-3. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. On the ground with the tailback. And he's tackled at the one yard line. Gain of two on the play. That brings up second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the one yard line. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. So a short three-play, 34-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Georgia Tech is lining up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game, but the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. They come out on an empty backfield. He zips it out to the right. Couldn't haul it in. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Get on the throw. He caught it. Brought down. Right around the 44-yard line. Number 14 with the tackle at the 44-yard line. First down. That's a great tackle at the 41. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. So it's second and 13. Ball on their own 41. Gets it out to him again, and down he goes at the 45-yard line. This one's going deep to the end zone. He goes up, picked off. The quarterback has made some really careless throws. But you've got to also give credit to the defense for being able to clean up the mess and create the turnovers. From their own 20-yard line, first down. 
Georgia Tech holds a field goal lead. And he carries the ball for a nice game. From their own 32 yard line. First down. Tackle made at about the 29 yard line. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. Third down. From their own 33 yard line. Third down. Let's get off the field, D. Hey, right 52. Set. Blue 14. Oh. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. Why in the world would the offense run around short of the first down? That just baffles me every time I see them. Fourth and six. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He fields a punt at the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. They'll bring him down at the 35. That's good for him. And they make the stop at about the 31. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. From their own 31-yard line, it's third down. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That's great discipline and play calling on the defense's part on that series. Everything clicked for them. The defense decided to go conservative, sitting back in cover three. They wanted to make sure the receiver was not going to get open past the first down line on that play. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Georgia Tech is up by three. Scrambling around. And he got about six on that little scramble. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Set the tone, defense. Looks left, finding his tailback. Nothing doing for the offense, and it's fourth down. Duke's going to take their first time out of the half. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Looking for the corner. Not a great return there. Boy, he got a hold of that ball. This punter has a big-time leg, and you can see that when he gets a hold of a ball like that. It really goes. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Watched out, and he's going to get sacked. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that.
So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. He's to the 20. He's knocked out of bounds at the 35-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. He goes out of bounds right around the 42-yard line. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. second time out. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. Moves up, and the defense has got it. So we've played two quarters. The Yellow Jackets lead 10-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. People say college football is evolving. It's completely an offensive game. Boy, not this one. This one has that old school, hard-nosed, tough feel to it. Yeah, and it's it's good. It's kind of it's kind of refreshing. I know the younger guys, you like all the points all the time, but it, it's fun to watch these kind of games because you see two defenses flying around. It looks like there's 12 or 13 guys on that side of the football making big plays, making big hits, holding the offenses down in a world where we have all the fast-paced, up-tempo, scoring points galore. It's good to see some defenses bow their necks and play some good, pretty good ball. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I, I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Yellow Jackets continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Quick out to his receiver. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. That's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. Gets out to about the 31. Some time and they bring him down for a sack on the play. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. 
They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Georgia Tech has a three-point lead. He is drilled at the 40. The fullback ends up with the ball on the option and rumbles for an eight-yard game. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He's at midfield. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. That makes it second and six. Stop your whining. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the thirty nine. Down ten nineteen. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. The defense needs to be careful. The safety might have made that play, but if he keeps coming up on the run, there'll be space downfield for the pass. Roger, Roger. 52 is the mic. Watch Mike, watch Mike. You ain't doing nothing. He gets rid of this one. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Georgia Tech is up a field goal. Kicks away. No good, he hooked it right. You know, for a second there, I thought it might hook back, but it just kept slicing to the right. That's tough break. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Tackle at the 46. Number 32 brings him down at the 46-yard line. First down. And they push him out at the 42-yard line. That makes it second and six. He's scrambling. He's tackled at about the 35. And a good decision there. Yep, he didn't have anybody open downfield. And instead of panicking and throwing the ball into coverage or maybe throwing the ball away, he had the composure to recognize the open field and had the athletic ability to get the first down. That's a nice job. Zips it to the tight end. He's pushed out of bounds around the 17-yard line. Call it a gain of 18 yards. First down. And they got him for a loss. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. From the 20-yard line, second down. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. And he's level at the 14. That brings him second and goal.
from the 14 yard line. Second down. Fires across the middle, and he's tackled at the one. Gain of 14 let's go, yards. Let's go. That, that makes, makes it third and goal. Touchdown, Blue Devils. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. But I'll tell you, a four-point lead is not a comfortable one, especially in a dogfight like this one. And he hits the PAT. So a nine-play, 59-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. So the score now, 14-10. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boy, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he hits him hard at the 28-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Second and seven. Ball on their own 28. By 52, by 52. Inside the 30, the 10. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Great explosion, and he got it into the end zone in a flash. Boy, this guy's got incredible speed, but his ability to find daylight is just as impressive. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays, and it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play could win this game. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. That makes it second and six. And now he pitches it. And down he goes, right around the 30. Jacket with a three point lead. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Oh, excellent punt. It's recovered. Oh, man, he took him down hard. 
And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. After, After reviewing review the, play, the play, the ruling, the ruling on, the on the field, field is, is reversed. reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep, those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. Georgia Tech holds a field goal lead. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down at the 47. First and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. Brought down at the 49. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. Check that, check that. We're going to Mike 52 right here. Down! Oklahoma! And they make the stop right around the 38-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Tackle made to the 39-yard line. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. It's up, looks long enough. That's just a bit of bad luck for this freshman kicker. And our score, 17-14, Georgia Tech. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And he's hit immediately. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. He's on the run. And they get nice yardage on that run. He makes it out to midfield. That makes it first and ten. Kill, 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 kill. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. He's taken down around the 46-yard line. That brings him second and five. Less than three minutes in the game. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and he's taken down at the 38-yard line. That's a game. The ball, the ball, the ball. First, First down. down. He's hit and taken down. Number 11 makes the tackle at the 32-yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. going to lose yards here. Boss of a yard. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Quick pass. Tackle at about the 23-yard line. Number eight makes the tackle at the 23-yard line. First down. Quick 
caught with room to work. He gets hit out of bounds at the 15-yard line. Gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. Tenth play of the drive. Under heavy pressure. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. That makes it first and goal. And he tackles him hard at the seven yard line. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That brings him second and goal. Second down and goal. Seven yards for the touchdown. Just under two to go in the game. And they'll bring him down behind the line. That makes it third and goal. And this is the 13th play of this drive. to the end zone. Touchdown! And that puts them on top. The Blue Devils coaching staff's got to walk around on a daily basis going, man, I'm glad he's on our team. Well, it's great to see him on their side. Not only do they not have to defend him, but they find unique ways to get him the football. And every single time they find a way to get him the ball, he seems to score touchdowns. After, After review, review of the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the, on the field, field stands. stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a 13-play, 63-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. He's on the run. He's tackled around the 38-yard line. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 38. Just throws this one away. Under a minute left. Set. Set. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he's tackled at the 45. These short, effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. He's going to try and scramble. So a big, big stop on fourth down here late in the fourth quarter. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. So not a lot of time left, and they've got an opportunity right now, if they score, to put the nail in the coffin in this game. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. From the 36-yard line, it's second down. Georgia Tech's called their final timeout. He takes a knee. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one, 21-17, Blue Devil.
That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nestler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.